Hey guys, welcome back. It's Ed with Dual Brain MTG, and today we have something really cool. This is a package from a patron, and in it are two packs of the dark. Yeah, let's open these bad boys. This is it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. What the fuck are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do? Maybe we could build a fire, sing a couple of songs, huh? Why don't we try that? All right, so this is very cool. This is from Andrew. And in it is the dark. Yes, I know the inside of every package is dark, but this is the dark. I just don't want to show his address. So I'm doing this carefully, carefully. Yes. Okay, so it's gonna open like that. Uh-huh. Yes. Two packs of the dark. How sick. Let us get to this madness. So, everybody, please put a thank you in the comments for Andrew for um, sending these packs to be opened. I'm going to open them and then send it back to him. This is awesome. A lot of fun. Let us do this. Okay, this is really cool. Yes, let's uh, just admire the old pack art real quick wax pack uh, published by Wizards of the Coast Inc 1994 printed in Belgium by Cardamundi eight cards this antiquities um, and fallen empires I believe are they uh, Arabian Nights the dark antiquities fallen empires I believe those are the only eight card sets and the rest were um, actually alliances was 12 and the rest were 15. Oh man, this card creeped me out when I was a kid. Amnesia. Oh, that's crazy, right? Oh, look at that. It looks like there's a crazy factory scratch. Witch Hunter. Let's uh, take a look at that in a second. Let's go through them first. Witch Hunter. Whoa, upside down. Merc Dwellers for the third card. Huh, interesting. I'm not sure where the rare is offhand. Carnivorous, carnivorous plant. Oh, water worm. Look at that creepy freaking segmented worm from the ocean. Merc Dwellers again. Uh, Antiquities is like that too. You'll get two of uh, common. So that's what? One, two, three, four, five. So this is six. So maybe these two uncommon and rare? Uncommon. Squire. And the last card is Goblin Rock Sled. Hmm. I'm going to pause it and look up what my rare is. So this is your uncommon and this is your rare it's not bad this one is actually pretty good but it's not um reserveless so i'm gonna you know i should have known this freaking card let me see hold on a second i want to show you the amnesia the damage i saw this freaking card right this this look at this art okay this just creeped me out when i was a kid little ed did not like this art up in his face he was like oh no this guy is creepy <laughs> Anton Maddox you devil you okay let's get this in focus but yeah can you see I need something to point okay you see this right here at the tip of the knife this scratch yeah that's pretty deep and pretty major and then there's uh, on the edge here, there's this nick. Yeah, so it's tough to see these things, but yeah, you really got to look at your cards. Don't just open them and grade them. You, that's a surefire way to lose, lose out on some cash. So now that we know the order, we can open pack two. Let's put this guy in a sleeve anyway. I really appreciate you sending in Andrew, so I want to take care of these, you know? So when we open this, let's open it face down. 
Wow, this one is actually very sealed. A lot of these wax packs, they just kind of open easy because, you know, it's years and years and years and this wasn't that crazy of a bond to begin with. But this one, wow, impressive. I just want to open this a little bit more. Okay, Andrew, let's be very careful here. I'm going to actually take your two. Wow, look at that. They are upside down again. Your two hits. I'm going to sleeve them and put them on the back here. One. so like that okay we'll reveal them at the end let's start with these oh man inquisition look at that anton maddox art crazy gaia's touch mark pool art more sick art from sick artists goblin digging team like yeah some of this art was just really really cool and some was really creepy really creepy <laughs> oh. land leeches after antiquities when the golgothian silex explosion created a huge amount of atmospheric debris like a nuclear winter it uh, froze the earth. I guess the Ice Age came. But during the dark, when everything was blocked out, the wizards were being persecuted. They, so the, the dark, that's the story. The persecution of the wizards. Okay. Oh, Barl's Cage. That's decent. Wow, this has that deep cut, too. Man, you got two in a row that were made at the same time in the factory. Yeah, you could see it even through the slip. That's rough. Well, let's see. Let's hope the rare is a good one. Cleansing. Okay. That's pretty nice. Cool. Awesome. Oh, that looks pretty good. It's got a little nick on the bottom in the center. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah, you see that? It's not that crazy, though. Like, it doesn't have that freaking cut into it. You know, I've opened Antiquities packs like that with damage on the cards. Outright damage. And it's, it's, it's always rough. But that's how it was back in the day. The freaking quality control wasn't always the best. So this has been a pleasure, Andrew. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. He's a good guy, good patron. Um, yeah, you know, if you want, please check out my Patreon. If you're going to be buying any of the dark today on TCG Player, click my uh, affiliate link below. It's free to use and just click it and shop like normal. And that's how it works. Pretty cool stuff. Anyway, uh, definitely come back on august 13th at 8 p.m is my one year anniversary and birthday and 1600 subscriber live stream we're gonna be having some games some fun times josh is gonna be there we're going to um, raffle off some craziness and urza saga tournament pack maybe um what a, a, a tempest starter and mirage starter as well anyway stay tuned to the channel for news on all that definitely uh check out the discord that's where news comes out first and otherwise have a great day peace everybody